Okay, well first of all, when you're in VR, please pay attention to what's around you or what was around you, you know, in reference to things. Um, don't get impatient and try to use a short pair of cheap headphones hooked up to your laptop so that you can play Pavlov, because if you tug on that laptop and it comes crashing to the floor, you're gonna, well, you're gonna have some battle scars. Luckily, I don't care what your opinion of is of them, Alienware over the last few years have gotten more and more durable. Well, obviously the case, you know, wasn't that much of a fall, but anyway, that's not what this video is about. If you wear glasses and you're waiting to buy a um, an adapter or print one out or whatever your plan is, this is a nice alternative. Um, basically what I've done here is I've popped the little lens covers off, the rings. I've already done that one. I did it on video, but I misspoke like three times in that video, so I'm just making a different one right before I do this one. So you take your cellophane, you lay it out flat, and um, you just take the bottom half, the piece that, like say it comes off of here like this, set it down like that, okay, and then you just fold up like four or five points and you start twisting it and I you know I cut it to size I've done this a couple times you'll end up having to do it um, usually about once a day maybe twice a day depending on how much you play but you do not want your glasses rubbing up against it and this I find seems to kind of keep that from happening and then when it does happen you'll notice because it'll have a little tear in it and you can start over it's just a buffer this is not a permanent thing by no means but I'm on the road and I needed an option and this has actually been working well for the last few days. So yeah, what you'll do last is you will pop it in just like that. And once it's snapped into place, I think that's right, yeah, once it's snapped into place like that, you're just going to continue twisting. And I'm not going to be able to do this one handed. But you just continue twisting and you'll put one hand right here, kind of holding it. So whenever you're twisting that, you're gonna you're gonna twist it back and twist it back and forth. Or uh, twist it in the same direction until it gets nice and tight, and then you'll pull it up real quick. Whenever you do that, it'll tear. And pretty much every time, I think one time it came out from underneath. But as long as you're pushing down on this, that kind of makes this a cutting surface on the outside and it tears. And you'll have a little bit of overhang right there, but like I said, this is not ideal, but it does work. It's just kind of a temporary, for me, it's kind of an on-the-road fix. But I thought I would share that. Uh, be looking for much better videos coming up soon with actual editing and thought put into them. For now, Shedding Shadow out.